Welcome to the video and welcome to the channel, this channel is for teaching or preaching. So I hope by the end of this video you will have learned something. Today's video is a challenge to the YouTube community. I am not an electronics engineer but when some a product does not perform how it is advertised, it is quite obvious, this waste of money is distributed under the brand name Phobia. It was purchased through a third-party reseller and they are more than happy to refund the purchase, however that is not the point. This type of product solution would have been very useful for the electronics community. The basic idea is to use a PWM signal to control a device with a variable DC voltage. Do not try to talk with any third-party support about this because they automatically assume that the product works as it should, they usually think that you broke it or using it wrong. However, I think it was designed and manufactured incorrectly. Here is the basic drawing of the circuit layout. Like I have stated before I am not an electrical genius, after testing the product it only runs at two voltages depending if the PWM signal is on or off. There is no variable voltage output at all. The way I tested was with three different PWM signal sources to a DC fan. The motherboard. And Corsair Commander Pro where software controlled and the Noctua controller was manual. Dot back to the drawing board, I have a good idea of what is wrong with the design but I would like verification of my amateur skills. Can you be the first to find the problem? Now if there is another plug and play solution that can be purchased and converts PWM signal to a variable voltage and actually works please comment below. This is for a project that requires to take the existing PWM signal output and control several other components that can be controlled by voltage. Due to cost and parameters of the projects this the only solution, replacement of the DC components with comparable PWM components is not an option.